of Skyblock Survival on the wrong version of Minecraft. And uh, if you don't know why that is, it's because of this challenge. And if you don't know why it's because of this challenge, well, I don't know. Why'd you jump to this episode in the series? Oh god, it's terrible, alright? Now, if you have randomly decided to jump to this episode in the series, first of all, damn, I must have done a good job on the thumbnail. But second of all, well, the reason why this is so scuffed for me right now is because jack o' lanterns have changed recently. They no longer can be crafted with just a pumpkin and a torch, which was essentially what was meant to happen with that challenge. I was meant to get 10 pumpkins, 10 torches, and then just craft them. And if that was the case, that would have been one of the first challenges I'd ever done. However, the problem is that I am on a update of my, or I'm on a version of Minecraft well beyond that which this skyblock was made on. And so now the only way you can get Jacko pumpkins or Jacko lanterns is if you uh, make shears to carve out the face of the pumpkin and then you put the torch in it. So, so the recipe for the Jacko lanterns is the same, but you need to carve the face into the pumpkin. The only way you can do that is with shears. So, it's about midday. This episode is going to be entirely jump cuts, pretty much. So every single time something interesting happens, except for this intro, uh, I will be jump cutting straight to it, or time lapsing through it. So for example, this first part, we need to start organizing all of our crap. And so that will be our first little time lapse thingy that we are going to do right about now. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Okay, so I've done a little bit of organizing now. I've got mod, mob drops in here, as we did have before. I've got work in progress challenges, so we've got the 10 pumpkins and the 10 torches we need to, first of all, carve and then place them in, place the torches in. We've got 6 white wool on the way to getting 10 yellow wool, 10 red wool, 10 pink wool, and 10 orange wool, which we still need for the challenges. We've got 7 leather, which I believe is in the way of which challenge? The bookshelves. So I should also be putting bunch of sugar cane in there as well just for the paper aspect I think I need 30 paper and then 30 paper is it if I want to make 10 bookshelves 30 lots of paper yes okay so that is what our sugar cane is going to be turned into Ooh. perfect okay so we have the paper needed which will go into the work in progress chest. And then we just need the... Wait, does that mean we only need... We only need 10 leather. No, that's not true, is it? No, 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 we need 30 leather. Yeah, okay, I was just... I was wigging out on the math there. But anyway... We seem to be relatively more organized. I'm going to see if there's any mobs over here worth taking out before night fully goes away. There's a few. Not as many as I'd like, but there's a decent chunk. Okay, so just finish these guys off and I'll see you in a bit. Okay, unlucky for the iron situation again, but I guess we're doing well for gunpowder if that's even a good thing. I don't know what we'd use gunpowder for. It'd be nice if they made a challenge for it. You know, collect 10 gunpowder or something. I don't know. Just seems kind of pointless if you don't have a challenge related to it. But, nevertheless, we have gotten some more mob drops. We've cleared out our inventory quite a bit. Obviously it's not perfect. But, oh, actually, we need to dump off the food. This is what I've decided to be the food chest. Uh, I'll keep the steak on me for actual food supply, but other than that, that's where it'll go. Sugarcane's can stay in here. 
eggs. Eggs are just a waste of space, let's be honest. And we already have plenty of chickens, so these won't be missed. Okay. Right, now we shall harvest our wheat. Damn it, I tried to avoid it, but I hit that one anyway. Pretty much all of it. Okay, now the reason I'm breeding the cows first over the sheep is that the sheep is going to be a long process. I'm going to need lots of sheep if I'm going to end up murdering them all for the wool rather than actually getting the shears, which seems to be what the uh, game is dictating. Okay, but other than that, I believe our inventory is mostly empty now. Turns out we have two stone swords. I had no idea of this. Uh, I don't know why I even have a bow on me. I have no arrows. Fishing rod. Definitely have the bucket of water. Oh, actually. Bucket of water would be safer inside than out. Alright, now that is a smooth inventory. Now. Here's the thing. I do feel like we need to change this up a bit. Maybe it's the pumpkin, because I've after, after Benny perished very early on, um, I decided to place a pumpkin here now with Benny's one pork chop in it, and I'm not sure if this is going to be affecting spawn rates, because we do actually need mobs to spawn here. So, we might just have to shift this over two rows just to see if, if uh, the sign and the pumpkin are actually making a difference. I think it might be. So if we shift it over, there should be enough room for mobs to spawn and for Benny's sign to stay in place as remembrance. Also, we do need some leather, and these guys are getting a bit overpopulated, so... Let's be honest, it's getting pretty noisy. It's nicer using the axe, that way it's one swift head removal. Actually no, that sounds horrible. It's one swift end, right? It's not one swift head removal, because that just paints pictures of like, blood explosions. Okay, so 16 leather. Very much good progress. We only need seven more leather. And I believe there's more than seven of you guys. With any luck, some of you might survive. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah, that's what I thought. Alright. Sheepy's next. Oh, I apologize. That was not quick and painful. Or painless. Is it painless if it's quick? I feel like it's not necessarily painless if it's quick, but it's less painful than if it was slow. And I mean, I know some cases, if it's instant, it's not painful at all, because you just go straight up from living to not living, and uh, it's quite a smooth journey, so to speak. Alright, so we can in fact do another ten of one of these. So let's go for orange. I like orange. Let's get orange out of the way. Okay. And boom. Another completed challenge. I really should have had that completed challenge box well into the first episode. Let's be honest. <laughs> okay, throw you in there. Throw you in there. Oh, convenient. Now we can knock out the orange wall. There we go. Progress. Okay, I'm liking this. So, that grass is going to grow over and start spawning in more mobs. Sheep are going well. Cactus, I'm not sure why we still have it. There may be a purpose to why we still have it, but I don't know what it is yet. 
I don't think there's actually a purpose, so we might end up just removing these guys completely. But for now, it's nice aesthetic, and that's about all, let's be honest. So you can go stick in there. I don't believe we need cactus for anything anymore. And pearls, black wool, grey wool, grey wool, small lake, red wool, yellow wool, pink wool. We are very close to that. If we do get a few more skeletons spawning, I believe we are two arrows off of that achievement as well. So let's see what's here. Okay, we got two skeletons. That's good news, but the bad news is we have creepers. And if any of these creepers cut us off, then we will be very in harm's way if a skeleton spots us. And shoots a creeper. I mean. We have had that experience twice before, and I am not willing to have it again. That is not how I operate. So we just need this guy to drop one arrow. Of course he doesn't. And we just get one bone. But, whatever. We are rolling anyway. We don't need that one arrow just yet. We can wait. It's not like it was a simple task. Or something. <sighs> Alright. So, we're waiting on arrows. We're waiting on the cows to grow up. Um, I suppose we can start building our staircase to snow. So essentially, in order to get the uh, snow for the snow golems, we need to build upwards. And by that I mean we are in a wooded mountains biome. See how quick I was at identifying where that was in the F3 menu? You guys should be proud, but that's not the point. So, we need a way to get into the Wooded Mountains mountain area. Because if we're in there, everybody knows, the higher up you are, the more likely it snows. So, if we just keep building up, and admittedly, stairs are very ineffective as actual stairs, it would be much faster to just build straight up. Let's be honest. Let's not faff around with the technicalities. Let's just get a crap ton of oak logs, turn them into planks, turn those planks into sticks, and then turn those sticks into ladders. And that's a decent height. Okay. Okay. That's what we're working with right now. That wasn't either of you. Okay. Alright. Excuse you. Anyway. We will officially be doing a mining session to get a whole bunch of cobblestone to build straight up. See you guys in a bit. Alright. I think that should be enough. We didn't break our pick, but... Yeah, that's, that's, that's a... Now that I think about it, that's only 64 blocks up. Oh well, we'll see how it goes. Ooh, it is actually night time, so we will check on the mob spawner before we do any sort of building straight upwards. That's what we like to see. Try not to trigger any skeletons, at least not before we kill all the creepers. Two. Come on. There we go. See, that's fine. That's perfectly fine if skeletons shoot other skeletons, or even zombies. That's perfectly fine because nobody's going to retaliate, at least not excessively. And it appears we are still on the lookout for some iron. Which admittedly will be painful to get, but as soon as we get that first one, we have a taste for it, you know? 
then we know it's possible. Then the wiki has been proven correct, and we get a boost of energy and a greater sense of maybe next time. <laughs> okay. We got some of you guys growing up real quick. We'll breed them really fast. Throw those in there. I do believe with this and these extra arrows here, we have in fact also completed the oh, the challenge of uh, crafting a bow and collecting 64 arrows. Don't know why I did this with my fist, but I did. Okay, so as proof, I'm pretty sure this bow was crafted. If not, oops. But uh, yeah, I really should have done this from the beginning, but some of these challenges can't be quantified into putting items into a chest, which kind of sucks. But nevertheless, we have done another challenge. Now, what was I doing before? That's right, I was breeding cowies. One, two, three, four. Okay, sheepy, sheepies, sheepy sheeps as well. That's good. Okay. Man, we've only ever died once, and we did lose quite a few levels, but goddamn, we have been saving up since then. Right. How many leather do we need? We need seven. Seven leather. It's all that stands between us and another challenge complete. What are the odds that these four cows are going to drop seven leather? It's very unlikely, but it is possible, weirdly enough. Okay, so I think we're going to start... Mm. Actually, no, there's, there's uh, torches here. I was going to say there's candles. Uh, but, um... Yes, I think we'll just build straight up from here. Is that a smart idea? I'll bring a bucket of water with me. Safety, safety water. Yep, there we go. Much better. Okay, we'll build up here. Okay, see you guys when I'm at appropriate level. Alright, we are officially 69 blocks higher than our actual island is, and wow, this is actually quite a nice view. In fact, I think I'm going to screenshot this, and hopefully you guys will have seen this as the thumbnail. Alright, so this is the height we can get to at the moment. We will be building higher, but just for now, we're going to ride this water all the way down to the bottom and then replace our way up with ladders. Okay, okay, okay. What torches are broken? Okay, I saw one. I saw one get broke. Yep, you. It's fine, light up the area, and yes, I think that's... Alright. We will need to build this higher, I think. Maybe not like sky high, but essentially, we are trying to get to snow. And I don't know if wooded mountains... That is what we're in, right? Wooded mountains? Yeah, I don't know if wooded mountains actually have snow at the top, but... I'm sure we can check somehow. Maybe it's even on this screen at the moment. Well, if it is, I don't know where. Um Yeah, no. I'll just I'll just I'll just look it up. Right. And while we slowly descend, Gives me time to Google if wooded mountains get snow in Minecraft. Uh, wooded mountains biome snow? Question mark. Google. 
Okay, in Minecraft, the Wooded Mountains is a biome in the overworld. It is a mountain range that is covered in grass, spruce trees, and oak trees. At higher elevations, you will find snow at the peaks of these mountains and on the top of trees. Perfect. Alright, that's exactly what we're looking for. So, essentially, if we get high enough, we will, in fact, be getting snow on that platform above us that will soon be made. Which is amazing news. Because if you don't know, to make snow golems, surprise, surprise, you need snow. So we'll put the bucket of safety away and see what we can see in our pit of death. Now, here's the thing. There's not a lot of endermen. Oh, damn, but we got a lot of pimpin' boys. Oh, damn, bro. Okay, wood. But yes. So, we shall kick some butt. Okay, so one of them is a zombie. That's fine. We'll see if we can get some actual gear off these guys. Would be nice. Feather falling, anyone? Oh, we got the pants. We got some pants. Pants is good. Come on. Don't want to get any further closer because of those skeletons at the back there. Come on. Come on. Just a little bit. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, he didn't shoot. He didn't shoot. He got scared, but he didn't shoot. Good for us. Just let me finish off these two. Then we can get as close as you want. Okay, there we go. Come on. Come on. You know you want it. Oh, damn. Definitely power on that one. Can we get it, though? Of course not. Never lucky. Oh. Ooh, we got quite a few spiders. Okay. We also have to remember that with spiders, we can in fact make wool out of the string they drop. Which is very handy when sheep are not the easiest way to get wool for once. And I only say that because we don't have shears yet. We will. We will. Okay, admittedly, as well as lots of progress has been made this episode has also gone on for quite some time um, slap on these pantaloons that's an interesting noise that we're going to ignore and pretend never happened um, we're also going to grab all this string not do that with it I'm going to do this with it slap the string back in there like nothing happened ooh we just need one wool Alright, we'll finish off the day with the challenge complete. We'll leave the meat there because honestly we've got plenty. Same with these eggs, we'll leave them over there in the safety of the chasm. Alright, so let's get some pink wool up in here, shall we? Just as a finale to the episode. There you go, there's another challenge done. I believe that makes three in this one episode. So, it just goes to show that when I actually focus up for a bit and stop yapping, I can get quite a lot done. So, here's what we accomplished today. We have organized our chest system a bit more, organized our inventory. We've spread out this dirt land a bit more in hopes that something will actually spawn on it. We've murdered many sheep and cows, which is great progress in terms of our actual skyblock challenges. Um, sadly, no endermen, so this is still quite useless. Uh, we have made a bow and gotten 64 arrows, can't craft them. And we've made pink, orange, and now... Pink, orange, and what? Pink, orange, and... Okay, we we we've made pink and orange wool. Okay, so this has been quite a hefty amount of progress. I do think before the next episode begins, I will break a couple stone picks in order to expand that, send it higher, and uh, increase our chances for snow next episode. 
admittedly, I do think we still need to place... I still... I think we need to place carved pumpkins on the snowmen. Or the snow blocks in order to actually get, uh... In order to actually get snow golems. But... We will cross that bridge when we come to it. So... Thank you guys so much for watching. Hey, we've got our pants back now. Uh, I don't know what's happening. Oh god, no one ever actually has to control like this. Okay, so it's kind of like... Left is right, right is left, because it's mirrored, because we're facing us, not... Right, anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. And, uh, take care of yourselves. Take care of others. Take care of your family, take care of your friends. Take care of your farm animals, if you have a farm. But, uh, you know. Overpopulation is a major problem. So just keep them in check when necessary. And, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.